Hello guys, this is Andrew, otherwise known as News is Drew on YouTube. I know I haven't made a actual face video in a really long time. And uh, so this is going to be my nightmare to all of you just before Christmas. This is my Christmas present, um, the nightmare of seeing my face. Um, on a related topic, I have not yet seen the nightmare before Christmas. Go ahead, dip, shut the video down right now. If you get so raged that I haven't seen it, I'm 16 years old. I'm turning 17 in May, and I've never seen The Nightmare Before Christmas. I've probably seen bits and pieces of the first part, up to where he discovers Christmas Town. I haven't even made it through the song where he discovers Christmas Town yet. And no, and like I said, that's only bits and pieces up until that part. Where he finds it. Not even the entire song. Just random pieces. Don't ask me why. Just never have. Uh, when I scroll on the TV. Which I don't even do anymore. Because there's really nothing good. You have to grant me that. There is really, really not much good on TV. I will, there are a few exceptions obviously. Uh, I will not go through them. Because I do not know them off the top of my head. However. The point remains. That. Yes. Anyways. So what this video is going to be, my Christmas present to you, is I am going to be making a review, my first opinion, my first impression of The Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm able to do that because I have never seen it past the uh, Christmas Town part, and even then, only bits and pieces. Fair enough? Okay. So. I will watch it right now. Luckily, it is in parts on YouTube. Um, so, I will be watching it there. So, I won't have to be going out of my way. Um, and, for those of you uh, all worked up, all of you copyright holders, I promise you, if I enjoy this movie, I will purchase it. Okay? You got that? I will purchase this movie... If I enjoy it. Alright, time to get started. I already have the first video up. The, but the review, this review is going up. That this will be your Christmas present. Your nightmare of a Christmas present. By the way, if you see the screen shaking. It's because uh, I'm using my laptop. And the poor quality. Uh, my la I'm using my laptop's camera. It is on my lap. I'm in my bed. As you can tell by the bedroom behind me. By the way, from this angle, my room looks perfectly clean. It's not. Well, I've delayed us long enough, about three and a half minutes, so let's dive right in. Just finished uh, part seven, the final part of the movie. It's a very good movie. And here are my final thoughts. This movie was very well made. It was it had great visual effects. It was very good stuff. Um, probably some of the best I've seen. Um, really, but then again, in my experience, I have not seen much stop motion in my day, well, ever, uh, in anyone's day, really. Uh, that's not the point. This was a great movie. I really enjoyed it. If I, the, this opening, a bunch of the songs were really good. There were a couple that I couldn't pick at. For instance, what's this? That was annoying. Oh. God, why do you need to say those two words so many times? I'm sure it might be because I was just focusing on those two words for the song, but th they were so repeated, and it just, oh, it, I did not enjoy that. I, I, the song was good, and I enjoyed all the verses, but what's this when he discovers Christmas Town? What's this? And then at the very, very end, when the uh, Jack gets back and it, the day is saved, hallelujah, he... They start singing it again. I, I almost went insane, but then they quickly switched to another song, and just the ending became the entire life final five minutes was all like mel harmonic kind of tone. Like it didn't really have us. It really wasn't a song. It was just kind of a harmonic ending. Um, yeah. So the, I I couldn't pick a couple of the songs for either being really repetitive or just not having. Uh, enough content for uh, when he's in the graveyard 
of the real world uh, just got shot out of the sky. He starts going on, uh, he starts singing, honestly, what I can't really tell you about, partially because of the movie. Yeah, it's not part of the movie, just move on. Um, but yeah, I couldn't really tell you what it was about because it was kind of a, uh, just a song that was there. It didn't really necessarily feel inspired. It was an inspired moment, but the song itself wasn't necessarily if you can feel inspired, you can feel but anyway, as well as uh, This Is Halloween. That was, that was the best song in the entire movie. This Is Halloween by far. It was the catchiest. It actually had a refrain. Most of these songs didn't have re a refrain. Uh, what's this? Technically had a refrain every three seconds. That Yeah, that's that. Um, again, wait. This was a very good movie. I will say that. I enjoyed watching this. This was my first time ever watching this. Um, I do feel like I was nitpicking it a little bit, especially since I uh, watched it in parts on YouTube. And so every 10 minutes, I went ahead and made a video of my opinion of that 10 minutes, and I kind of chopped it up. And of course, this was over like a two day span, and uh, during the two day span, it got interrupted several times. I've gone through several costume changes or wardrobes during the course of this review. Uh, but I, I, you know, it was enjoyable. Um, Oogie Boogie almost felt rushed. They, they could have done a lot more with Oogie Boogie. He, uh, he could have been a main antagonist, uh, possibly protagonist. He was just kind of there just to keep Santa Claus busy while Jack is off uh, being Christmas. Uh, Oogie Boogie was, is really introduced just to keep Santa Claus busy during that time period. And then the second uh, Jack comes back, they, they get rid of Oogie. They quite literally throw him away. Um, so yeah, he kind of felt like he they could have done a lot more with that character. He wasn't necessarily didn't really necessarily feel as uh, threatening as they were perhaps going for. Um, then there's a... Uh, what was it I was going to talk about next? The, the entire ending, really, it, it just felt kind of rushed. I mean, it, it all... It was a feature length film. It, it was... Uh, Counting the credits, it was about uh, like sixty three minutes, somewhere around there. It was it was an hour feature. It, it was a mini movie, but yeah, the the ending just kind of felt a bit rushed. I don't know. It didn't really seem to fulfill itself. Really, it just. Um, yeah, it was, it built itself, the movie built itself up quite a lot, and then the ending just kind of dropped as well. I mean, it was still a solid ending, but they went with the cliché. They, they went with two clichés in the final moments of the movie. They said, Christmas is canceled. They, they said that, they blatantly said that. It, it was only said once, but that was one time too many. They were subtle. They were doing well. And then they quoted, said, Christmas is canceled because Santa Claus is not here. Oh, that annoyed me. That annoyed me. I'm nitpicking. I don't, don't get me wrong. I really enjoy the movie, but I'm nitpicking here. Let me nitpick all I want. Um, it, it's easier to nitpick than it is to say. Because really, the good things about the movie, here, I'll say them right now. Um... Great effects, great stop motion, very fluid, very amazing, uh, very fulfilling. I was watching it on my computer screen, and I, I felt like I wasn't really missing anything. It, it looked very nicely put together. Um, great songs, not necessarily all of them catchy, but they didn't have to be. It was just one song right after the other. You could say it's quantity versus quality, but you know what? Um, this is not a movie where you would get a soundtrack of it. This is a movie where the songs help the story progression. Um, so yeah, from that point on, um, 
in the final months. Oh. They, 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 went, they said Christmas is canceled. And he, he just said, oh, it's you I was supposed to be going out with all along. But wait, wait that, that was, I mean, the, throughout the entire movie, you obviously saw the girl trying to hook up with Jack. I, uh, that, that was a blatant thing, and uh, he kind of acknowledged her. She didn't, he didn't really come fully acknowledge she was there. Well, again, they could have done so much more with this. Uh, she, they, he just kind of said, "Ooh, uh, I'm the pumpkin." When he got shot down, he's like, "You know what? I am the pumpkin king." It just kind of out of nowhere, "I am the pumpkin king, and I will start dating you." Sure. Why not? I mean, uh, but yeah, everything up until probably the final moments. The story, the timing, everything is very amazing. Uh, it's only in the final moments that I can really nitpick. That and uh, what's this? The final moments and the song, what's this? Um, so yeah, that that was my first opinion of, or, or yeah, my first opinion of The Nightmare Before Christmas. Merry Christmas. Um. What I'm probably going to do is tonight, or this morning, I am going to go ahead, edit the review, this review that I just said, and then, um, if I am still awake, and, and still competent, then I will start piecing the parts together, because like I said before, uh, after each part, I recorded myself, um, saying what, how I felt about that particular part, that 10-minute uh, span. And uh, so, yeah, I'll piece those together eventually. Um, oh, I scrapped the face cam. So, yeah, this has been Music Through... Oop! The Angry Video Game Nerd has his rolling rock. Happy Video Game Nerd has his wine. The Gaming Historian has his beard. Beard. I have my beard. Um, I got my sparkling sh uh, cider. Very convenient. First review, just so happened to have sparkling cider around the house. This bottle would not have lasted the day. But, I managed to hold myself for this glass for the end of this review. I couldn't help myself. That that's all that's left. <sighs> Cheers. Merry Christmas. And remember, you don't always need a witty ending. Peace. Okay, so I gave you guys uh, my Christmas present. What about you guys return the favor? Not asking for much. Here's what I want. If you like the video, like it. If you don't like it, dislike it. I don't really care. I'm not picky. Um, if you really thought this was your favorite video, then you need a like. But favorite this anyway. Because it, it, it it's close. It's high up there. Um, if you want to see more of this, or if you enjoy my content, subscribe. I do Let's Plays. I used to talk about the news. If you want me to talk about news again, um, sure, I'll go right on ahead. Probably going to anyway, if I ever feel like it. Um, I read all comments, all messages sent to me. Trust me, I am bored 90% of the day. I have my phone out, scrolling through any, I scrolling through my stuff. I scroll through my Facebook. I, I am not a fan of Facebook. But I will scroll up through my Facebook just reading random things, just trying to keep my time occupied. You post a comment, I will read it, guaranteed. You send me a message, I will read it, guaranteed. Now, if you have a comment that re you want me to respond to, I'll go ahead and respond to it. And this conclusion is already lasting longer than it uh, need or should. So I will go ahead and conclude with that and see you guys next time.
Uh, I'm in a giving mood, and I'm still on Christmas break, so I guess I'll be making more videos. I'm just kind of... No, never mind.